What's up, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Richard and I'm the guy in the red suit. We are going to continue with one shot. Um, last time we talked to this big robot and left outside of this house. We got our gloves, we got the mask, so we can explore even further. Um, yeah, that's all I remember, so let's get back into the game. <gasps> Richard? Richard, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Yeah. Oh, phew. What happened? Everything went pitch black for a second. Because I quit the game, I guess. <laughs> um, where am I right now? Oh, so okay, this is the building and here is this big robot, yes. Let's read this note. Looks like they are evacuating the few tamed robots we have here. Makes sense, no point in keeping them in the barrens if all the people are already gone. I wonder if the engineer is going too. Okay, what's this? It's a power cell, I think. There's writing on this one, too. <laughs> it says, Guardian of the residential area. And lots of tiny shrimp swimming in this jar. It's looking a little dim. Okay, I got my crowbar, my strange charmer. A sponge and an empty bottle. Let's... I can't pick those. Okay. Apparently phase one of the evacuating ended prematurely. The big ship started malfunctioning only after a few round trips. They said it was due to something with squares. I'm not sure what they me mean by that. Bummer. Looks like they won't be able to transport most of these surplus bots to the city at this rate. And we worked so hard on those. But I suppose the robots... Robots are busy enough with transporting people as is. I think it's going to be our turn soon. Okay, let's climb this ladder. Yes? I'm scared of ladders. Yeah. Just do it. Oh, come on. I can't. <laughs> and I press again. Have a look. Maybe I can see something up here. No, I can't. Do I have something? No. So let's get out and hello. Unit RM2883417 reporting for duty. I saw that you spoke with the guardian of the settlement. I will now escort you until you reach your dormitory. Um, what? Okay, let him escort me. And he's gone. Checking, checking. Terminal doesn't respond. This is a problem. Some kind... Some of the ink on this page is faded. Likely due to some sort of electrical or magnetic interference. I'm afraid this operation can no longer be sustained. If the servers continue to fail so much that the maintenance cannot keep up the pace. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem to be happening to the robots, at least not at a significant rate. Time will tell. All of these terminals do not boot. I am not sure what to know. Uh, what to do now? Okay. And... Where are we, actually? There's another building. And... Another letter. And a letter. I remember being taught in school about how the water surrounding the forest stretch until the boundaries of space, but at some point the prehistoric oceans receded, forming what it is now in the barrens. I wonder where all the water went. Okay. I think I can still not climb this one. What's this? Infirmary. Okay. What's inside here? Another... Okay, what's this? A picture of a robot. You know, I've never been around so many robots before, Richard. Or any robots at all. I mean, I see them in cartoons and stuff, but I've never seen one in person. They're pretty neat, don't you think? Hey, Nico, do a ro... Hey, Nico. 
to a robot voice. Da, da, da. What? Try talking like a robot. Um. <clears throat> Beep. Bob. I'm a robot and I eat batteries instead of normal people food. <laughs> that is not correct. What? Oh, there's a robot. Robots do not consume batteries in the same way people consume food. In fact, robots do not possess digestive systems. Some robots do not even have mouths. Okay. Richard, you make me look silly. <laughs> Sorry. Um, let's talk to this one. Can I? Hello. Hi. What are you doing up there? I'm stationed here. By yourself? Yes. Okay. Good to talk to you, yeah. Is there another building up here? Hello, organic person who is alive. The infirmary is up ahead. Unit, reporting for duty. It seems you already have an assigned escort unit. Would you like me to leave? You can follow me if you want. Understood. I will now escort you until you reach your dormitory. Infirmary. Ah, okay, let's get inside here. Um, let's talk to this robot. Hello, person of organic makeup. Welcome to the infirmary. Scanning for injuries. Dot, dot, dot. Um, scan complete. Injuries detected. None. Treatment required. None. You are good to go. Uh, thanks. Okay, I think it's a box of it's a box of medical tools. Most of them are broken or rusted beyond use, but this plastic syringe seems to be okay. Nice. So where is it? Empty. Hello, person. Are you seeking admission into the infirmary? No. Oh, carry on then. Something up there? Maybe? No. Okay, uh, I think I need to repair this broken robot. Are you guys not supposed to go into buildings? Correct. We are built for auto use only. Entering building is not our part of programming. That's strange. Okay, let's check this one. What's this? Ah, oh, it's just water. Okay. Looks like we are supposed to pack stuff for the evacuation starting today. I wish these books weren't so heavy. It's gonna be a pain to carry them onto the ship. But they are by the author. I can't just throw them away. Hey sweetie, six more weeks until you can come home. About time, huh? Gosh, I can't imagine living in that awful capsule wall dorm thing. But guess what? Soon you'll get to sleep in a real bed and eat real food again. Right back soon, love, mom. Aww. Um, next building. What's this? Some sort of mechanical drawing. Evacuation. At such short notice? I can't believe this. First the sun dies, now I'm out of a job. Ooh, a robot. It's beyond repair. And I guess I can't get up this ladder again. Yeah, can I pick this one? Um. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. Let's fix this. to do so okay this is top left now is there is something over here maybe this vent is on the ground all the others are taller than me Maybe I can cover it. Or fill it. 
I guess you want to f I guess you want me to fill the bottle with the gas, Richard. Try it. That ought to do it. Okay. So I got a bottle of smoke. Initially, the amount of noxious fumes emitted by the natural gas vents caught our team off guard. Thank godness the medical team reacted as quickly as they did. Despite its failure, that first expedition did bring up some interesting observations about the barons. We found that there is not one, but two such vent zones. With fumes being pumped out of such high, uh, such high concentrations, it seems a miracle that the gas hasn't spread anywhere else. Our biologist concluded that the phosphor shrimp in the crater pools were actively consuming the gas. The shrimp in the ocean also prevented the gas from wafting off into the clan. If that's the case, then we owe a lot to these little guys. Um, okay. So here is something I can... Um, put some smoke into this bottle. Um, okay. Let's check south. Or maybe here? What's this? It's a gas vent. Okay, I can only use the other one. And here is nothing. Maybe when I get... No, can't. Okay, what's to the left here? Ooh, a bubble. The sponge sure looks different. The water looks like jelly. It's from the bubble over the surface on the pond. Okay, let's use my syringe. So, you're filling up the syringe, Richard. Try it. I guess it's kind of like a funnel. But the liquid might be a too thick to fit in the needle. Hey, it actually went in. Cool. Gross. Okay, I got my filter syringe and my bottle. So, I should inject the liquid through the cork, right, Richard? It's like I'm a doctor. Yeah, but what am I doing? Oh, I should probably ta shake this too, yeah. It changed color. Acid. Okay. Where to use this acid on? The sky is dark. That it is. Do you know when the sun will be back up? We're working on it. Um, what did I read about this... Shaking thing? I think I have to do something with it. Maybe I can pour it onto this broken robot. Oh, he's alive. I am functional. Was it you who fixed the generator? Well, Richard helped me. But, yeah. Hello, nice to meet you. I am robot number 310. Would you like... Uh, would you like me to take you somewhere? Of course. Dot dot dot. Dot dot dot. Are you okay? I cannot move. Well, you're still rusty. That is true. Hold on, Richard, and I will find a way to help you. Um... I need something I can use to wash the robot with. Okay, wash it with the sponge. A sponge alone isn't going to remove all his rust. Uh, let's combine this one. I'm guessing you want me to pour this acid onto the sponge, Richard? Yes. Good thing I have these gloves. Okay. I hope this works. Wet sponge. And let's wash this one. Alright. Hold still. I have no other choice. There. How's that? I can move again. Thank you. Oh, a heart. I am able to fulfill my purpose again. Where would you like to go? Can you take me to the tower? Calculating. Closest destination to the tower is... The clan. Port number. My built-in navigation circuits have fried. I'm gonna assume that's not good. It is not good at all. 
once again i cannot follow my programming oh is there anything i can do to help in the even uh, in the event of an error you should speak with the head engineer she will know what to do okay i guess that's now it's time for us to teleport how do i do that again um travel to um what was this i think the outpost no nope. got point yes i think yeah she's the head engineer excuse me again miss i found a robot who can take me towards the tower but it's having some trouble so i told so it told me to talk to you all right no what was it was again all right what is the issue it said something about its navigation circuits being fried just the navigation circuits apparently richard and i fixed everything else i think hmm i have something that may help robots have the ability to trace material from the source locations. If you let the robot borrow this, then its backup tracking system should activate. That's nice. That's a very pretty necklace. What's made of? Amber found from the glen. What's the thing inside the amber? The black cover? Clever. That's a common plant in our world. It's also. Dot, dot, dot. Hmm? I'm not sure if I can be able to part with this. My programming says yes, but I still feel conflicted. Huh? Never mind. You need to finish your mission more than I need to keep sake. Here. Well, thank you. Okay, I got this ember, so let's fast travel. Before I go, is there anything I can do in return? Actually, do you know how to play chess? Yeah, well, sort of. I've played it with some older kids before. Then, will you play a game with me? I mean, I don't know the rules very well, but I guess it's the le least I could do. Yeah, let's play chess. You're really good at this. Thank you. It was built into my code. Oh. So, what's it like? Being a robot and all. I've talked to other robots and they all say something about programming and code and stuff. Even you did, just now. It's a little hard to understand sometimes. I know. Most of the robots here are not tamed. Tamed? Watch out. There goes my bishop. Taming is complicated. Oh? How complicated exactly? Dot dot dot. There goes my other bishop. I can't really explain what tamed robots are. But I'm one of them. All the other tamed robots have been moved to other regions. Exactly where I don't know. There goes my little horse. Knight. Right. You suck at this, Nico. <laughs> oh, have you ever been to any other region? I heard that there's two more. In the past, yes. I still have the data, the coordinates, the memories. I don't know how much of that still holds true. The world may be a very different place now. Because the sun is gone? No. I said this already, didn't I? The sun probably won't save the world. The decaying started back before the sun went out. The sun's sudden death was just a tipping point, and things went south really fast after that. Oh. Then... There's nothing I can do? Check. What? When did your queen get there? The only thing you can do is complete your pilgrimage. In a way, you are only supposed to be a second chance for the people. Just like how the Barons was only supposed to be a second chance for me. There's no guarantee that things will work out. But 
Checkmate. Da, da, da. All right. Guess I've kept you long enough. Thank you for listening. I hope you get home safely. Oh, thank you also. Okay, and let's finish this episode of One Shot right here. Um, I think I know where to go. I need this amber pendant and give it a boat robot. Um, yeah, I really enjoy this game. It has a cool story atmosphere and so on so if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up and as always tell a friend about the guy in the red suit <laughs>